So apologies for the lack of videos this week. Uh, I've been a bit ill and I'm still a bit ill and so I just managed to drag myself down to the plot with Debbie to try and get through the harvest or half the harvest and so I thought I would just show you the onion harvest today um, and just talk you through roughly how we grow onions uh, on the allotment and so we start off with overwintered onions and we generally sow the first batch of those about the middle of July and the second batch about the beginning of August and you sow two batches because there is a risk that they'll go to seed and that risk is based on how big how lush the green growth is in sort of February time and if there's too much green growth they're likely to go to seed and if there isn't enough then they don't go to seed and so in order to sort of manage that risk then you kind of sow them in two batches two weeks apart so we grow tough ball and we had a lovely first early harvest of those from the polytunnel we only had a tiny little bed and um, probably only a quarter of a square meter or something like that and we harvested about 25 onions from that and they're all a really nice size and so then the second batch of tough ball um, we harvested two weeks ago and those again a bit, uh, bit smaller actually than the ones in the polytunnel but they were planted again about a hundred onions per square meter and you know in clumps of three and they came on really nicely I think only three or four of those uh, went to seed so I was really pleased with those and then the batch that we just harvested today um, we did the last of those uh, tough ball onions that we planted at that really high density and then we did another bed um, which we planted at lower density again from seed and those turned out really nicely it's much bigger than the ones that we planted at really high density but the interesting thing is that the yield was probably about the same from half the space just the onions were a bit smaller so there was a massive yield of medium sized onions rather than a really a modest yield of big onions so that's generally our strategy to be honest is to go for a high yield of medium sized onions you know big onions you can't get through them in a day um, whereas the smaller ones or medium sized ones you know just about the right size for, for a day's onions so we also grew some red onions from sets about 20% maybe of those went to seed uh, didn't grow as well uh, to be honest I wonder whether it's even worth growing red onions over winter uh, from sets or seed I've never really had a very good experience of them um, and then the white onions that we grew from sets uh, they did okay more of those again went to seed I think generally speaking you know you're much better off growing from seed and growing tough ball in my climate that might vary in other parts of the country um, so what did we do with those onions so about two-thirds of them went into the um, pep pepper chili greenhouse um, we left all the lower shelves free so that we can dry them there we left the roots on we left the leaves on it's quite important to leave the leaves on um, and then the rest of them we just chop the tops off and chop the roots off and they're going to be used over the next two or three weeks so the ones in the mini greenhouse the chili greenhouse they'll, they'll see us through until august now um, and of course then we'll have the main crop onions and the main crop onions are coming on really nicely so far we've only had one of those go to seed which is that's actually one of the ones we grew from the set and it was a heat treated set so it's not meant to go to seed but just this weather you know that very dry very hot no matter how much you water by hand and we only water a modest amount by hand you just you know some of them are just going to go to seed it's just too much stress on them um, but out of the I don't know 300 400 onions that we've got growing on the allotment um, no, no more than that 600 600 that we've grow, grown on the allotment um, only one so far has gone to seed and all the others are looking really healthy we've got more onions back at home um, but I'll not bore you with those basically there's only so many onions you, onions you can look at so anyway I hope you like this quick video my name's Steve this is the Seaside Kitchen Garden and Allotment Channel and I'll see you soon oh 
one more thing, I've got a little book and in that book there's um, a section on growing onions specifically um, and so that goes through um, main crop, onions and shallots and all that and then I've also got an, another chapter in that book which goes through growing alliums uh, trying to get a nice range of alliums all year round so um, if you're interested in that take a look at that ebook link in the description below